Remembering Juneteenth originated from, a day that completely ended slavery. And now, more than 150 years later, it's finally being recognized on a federal level. June 19th, 1865, the last of African-American slaves in Galveston, Texas, were finally told about their freedom. And that permanently ended racialized chattel slavery within the United States. But President Abraham Shalom. First and foremost, I want to say all praise, honor, and glory be to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rechach Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of great most honor and world blessings to the hopeful elect, teaching this word in all sincerity and truth. You know, and uh, we are in 2021, you know, the haste, the year of hastening and the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. And indeed, He is coming back to save us from our enemies. And from the hand of them that hate us, the one that the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew, and it means he deliverer or he is the savior. For who? For the elect of the nation of Israel. And that's exactly what's going to happen in the near future. And, you know, what you just witnessed there was a clip, you know, speaking about, you know, the history behind Juneteenth and the so-called abolition of slavery, going back to Abe Lincoln. All right, which they didn't abolish shit, man. All right, and we're still... Prisoners of war to this day. This could just tell you that the like, captive exile hasteneth that he may be loose. All right, that's in the scriptures. All right, we are still yet this day in our captivity. In fact, you know, as I play some more of this, we're gonna get some scriptures to prove what I'm saying. All right, because if you think that you're free, and if you think this devil, you know, pretty much, you know, loosed up the yoke of iron that was around your neck, which now you don't see a physical yoke, but what do you have? You have papers. On you, he has social security numbers. He has a uh, uh, national security numbers on you. He has birth certificates on you. All right, you are not free. Okay, you 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 have a business. You try not pay your taxes to the so-called white man. You see how free you are. You try go somewhere without a, a passport or without now. You need a passport. You need two types of passports: a normal one and you need the V passport. Right? You try go somewhere, travel to a different country, and you see how free you are. You ain't free. All right, this this devil has got the the world in the palm of his hand. All right, and it's been set up that way because the earth has been given into the hand of the wicked. So now it is here it is we're in 2021 and now they're only just recognizing Juneteenth as a national holiday. Get the fuck out of here, man. But you see, this is doing nothing but, you know, pretty much you know, like the scriptures speak about shameful spewing. All right, which let me get that scripture. All right? Um Let me go ahead and get Habakkuk the, the second chapter. Right, this is Habakkuk 2 and 16. It says, Thou art filled with shame for glory. It says, Drink thou also, and let thy foreskin be uncovered. And that's exactly what's happening. Esau, his nakedness is being uncovered, man. All right, like it says in Isaiah, the 47th chapter. Okay, the virgin daughter of Babylon. Okay, because contrary to popular belief, what you don't seem to understand is, although Esau has built up this society, right, and he's built, he's built it by the bloodshed of the saints. Okay, he's shown nothing but a perpetual hatred to our people, man. And therefore, he's being filled with shame for glory. So now you're going to have to tra trade in that glory, you know, your glorious kingdom and how you got your kingdom. you got to trade it in for the shame because the shameful spewing is now upon your glory, man. It says, for the, it says, for the cup of the Lord's right hand shall be turned unto thee and shameful spewing shall be upon thy glory. So your shameful spewing is being seen, man. Okay. Shameful spewing, in fact, let's go into that word spewing, all right, shameful and spewing, all right, it says in shameful spewing, here we go, right here, right, shameful spewing, it says disgrace or shame, okay, it says shameful Spewing, it says disgrace or shame. And the Hebrew word is kwayakwalaiwam. Kwayakwalawam. Kwayakwalawam. So like if I'm not pronouncing it, you know, uh, you know, accurately. All right. But it means disgrace or shame. All right. So you, you know, pretty much your kingdom is a disgrace. The way it was built is a disgrace. All right, so now you're having to trade in that shame, you know, that glory for shame now because you're being revealed in these last days. All right, the truth is coming out and now we've got the internet. All right, the internet is, is pretty much, you can replay all these, 
you know, documentaries and slave movies, you know, that pretty much Esau is allowed to be aired on screen. But really, it's not Esau that's allowing it to be aired. It's the Mosai that's making him do this. All right. Because at the end of the day, the scripture uh, says man's going to of the Lord. So Esau, his his shameful spewing is being upon his glory is all stirring up, you know, racial tensions, racial hatred, bringing more of a divide. And, you know, the scriptures speak about if a kingdom be divided, a kingdom divided shall not stand. So this kingdom is done. It's finished. All right. This is Jeremiah 49 and 10. But I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled and his brethren and his neighbors and he is not. And guess what, man? No matter how much Juneteenth or whatever you you, you do, you ain't going to be able to uh, trade in this um, this shame for glory. OK, it's going the other way around. You're trading in your glory for shame. OK, no matter what you try and do, you can't irrevert. You can't reverse the, you know, the, 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 the hardcore. Um, how can I say the hardcore uh, uh, ways in which we were made to live. Cargo slave ships, auctioning blocks, yokes of iron, you know, buck breaking, lynching, you know. How much bloodshed of the saints is over there in the land of America? All right, over here even in the UK, how much bloodshed of you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, right, is, 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 is soaking the earth? How much blood of the saints is soaked into the earth? All right, and who shed that blood? Esau shed that blood. Okay, and you know what the scriptures speak about blood? It can't be cleansed, but by the blood of him that shed it. Let's get it, Numbers 35 and 33. It says, so you shall not pollute the land wherein you are. So this land is polluted, man. Especially America, that land is greatly polluted. All right, first of all, when you go back to our, our forefather, our Abel, you know, who was slain by Cain, all right, pretty much, the scriptures speak about how Cain, you know, Abel's blood crieth unto the Lord. All right, so the spirit went back up to the heavenly father because, hey, we will go back to the father of spirits. When we die on this side in the flesh, our spirits go back to the heavenly father. And guess what? Abel was uh, complaining unto the Lord. That's why the Lord said to Abel, uh, Cain, thy, brother, thy brother's blood crieth unto me. And then guess what? Cain lied about it. When the Lord asked Cain, where's your brother? He said, I'm my brother's keeper. You know? And that's the, that's the Esau, man. That's the so-called white man. He, he tries to, he lies. He'll try and hide the truth. But guess what? The truth is, is coming out. The truth is being declared. Corruption is being overcome. Like the scripture says, man. It says, For blood it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed, but by, cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. So that, that blood, that land can't be cleansed, right? Your, your blood needs to be shed now. All right, and that's going to happen in due time when the Lord comes back. Okay, and you're put into slavery. All right, the scriptures speak about to bind their kings. All right, what's that? Psalms 100 and, um, what is it? 149. <clears throat> yep, Psalms 149 and 7. It says to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. And that's exactly what they did to us. So guess what? It's going to be returned unto them. You shall indeed, you know, have to go through that punishment. You're going to have to drink of your cup. All right. Let's just speak about they whose judgment will not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken. You know, and that cup shall pass through unto you now. Okay. In fact, let's get that scripture. Um. Let me see if it comes up if I type this in. <clears throat> yep, this is Jeremiah 49 and um, 12. It says, For thus saith the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken. And, thou, and art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely... Thou shalt surely drink of it. So you're going to have to drink of that cup, man. All right, the cup that you made us drink of, you're going to have to drink of, man. But it's going to be worse. We're going to fill it unto you double. Okay? That's the big payback. Like James Brown, he made that uh, that track called The Payback, The Big Payback. You know? 
you're going to have to get paid back, man. Because the Lord ain't, hey, he ain't going to let you escape without being judged. And it says right here, this is Amos 1 and 11, thus saith the Lord, for three transgression of, transgressions of Edom and for four, all right, and Edom in the Hebrew is other one, which is red. Because Esau, although he calls himself a white man, he's not white. White represents purity. Really, he's red. That blood showing forth through his skin. He's the red man. He's a red devil on the earth, man. All right. So for all of Edom's transgression, this red devil, right? And for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof. There's a good book uh, by Ralph Ginsburg, 100 Years of Lynchings, which Lord willing, if I dig out that book, I'm going to start doing some more videos on that, man. You know, real actual accounts, articles that were written of Jake's being lynched in the land of America. And on the front page of the book, you know, it shows you the land of America drenched in blood. All right, real talk. It says because he did pursue his brother with the sword. And that's an example. And there's many examples of you pursuing your brother with the sword. Like I watched that movie Rosewood the other day. And um, pretty much you had that so-called white woman. And it was based upon a true story. And she, she cried rape. And she said it was a nigger. And you had one Jake that was traveling through that town. And they pinned it on him. All right. And, and because of that accusation, Jake's were getting lynched. Jake's were getting burnt alive. Jake's were getting shot. You know, it was sort of like Black Wall Street all over again, if you will. Which that came, you know, that was, you know, that was before that that time period, all right. But guess what? Hey, Esau was showing no mercy, man. All right, and they used that as a catalyst, as an excuse, right, to pretty much run up, you know, run Jake down, man, and shed their blood. And you saw how Esau was training up his son, you know, making his son make a noose, you know, making him watch uh, a, a, a trench filled of dead Jake bodies. Including babies, and, then, hey, and that's on a film, bro. So that's another ex example of shameful spewing upon his glory. All of these things that Esau has done, he puts them in movies. They're on documentaries, and you can. It's all there for the world to see. And now you got Jake screaming out "Black Lives Matter," screaming out for reparations. But guess what? The real reparations is for you to go into slavery, man. It says, and did cast off all pity. Right, which let me say this as well. It says because he did pursue his brother with the sword. What's Esau's blessing? Esau's blessing is the sword. All right, and you best believe that sword is being sharpened in these last days, and he's going to show you that sword, man. All right, when he rolls out with them drones and them eater robots and them, you know, all these, 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 this technology that this devil has, he's going to show Jake what he's going to do in these last days. Because remember, man, his kingdom is going down, so. He's going to come down with great wrath because he knoweth that he has but a short time. And right now they're introducing that baby sword to you, you know, the stabbing jab. All right. It says, and did cast off all pity. And that's that's him not showing any pity, man. And you got Jake's going out there, you know, to, to receive the stabbing jab, which look at this devil's track record. Look at the, how, the, you know, the, 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 the uh, conditions you were being forced to live in under Esau's rulership. All right. On them plantations. But all of a sudden now he cares about you. All right. What about the Native American Indians, man? What about them bodies that they found in Canada of them children? You know, over 200 bodies, right, that were sent to them, the re-education camps, concentration camps over there in Canada, man. And they were raping Native American boys and, and girls, little girls, and they found their bodies. They found their bones, man. All right. So all of this is being, you know, <laughs> look, man, all of this is being found out. All these digs that they're doing. You know, oh, the 100 years of Tulsa, Oklahoma, the Black Wall Street bombing, all these things are happening because guess what? The Lord said that he's come to set fire upon the earth and what will I if it be already kindled, man? That fire is rising, man. These are just the labor pains, man, okay, that we're going through right now. These contractions, the fans of hate are being flamed, man, or the flames of hate are being fanned. That's the right way to say it, you know? It says, and did cast off all pity and did his anger did tear perpetually and he kept his wrath, wrath forever. Okay. Let's play a little bit more of this. Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation ending slavery for all two years before. But African Studies professor Tyler Perry with UNLV says back in the 1860s... Look at that, man. Look at that. Look at this, man. You know, they treated us worse than animals, man. That Worse than beasts. All right? Yeah, the, the Jake woman up there with her, with her tits all out. You got a baby. She's got a baby clutched in her arms. What kind of a way is that to treat somebody, man? And that's why we're going to do that to you. We're going to do worse unto you, Esau, man. You you wait and see, man. Look how you were treating us, bro. 
You had us shitting and pitting, pissing on ourselves. And this is one of the better pictures that you... Notice how they choose them pictures wisely. They make it seem like you got Jake there just laying with his... You know, he's you got his head, you know, his, his head resting on his palms of his hands. It's like he... Look at his, like he's laying down on a beach trying to get a suntan. All right? These, these are one of the PG pictures that they show you, man. These are one of them, like, soft-looking pictures. But when you go into them real heinous, like, real filthy, dirty... Like, a good movie to watch is Goodbye Uncle Tom, man. And they show you how they were treating Jake, man. You know, how they were feeding them, breaking out their teeth, and force-feeding them and shit. You had the mush that they were giving them to eat mixed with blood that was leaking from their gums because their teeth just got knocked in. Swallowing down their teeth with the food. You know? Jake, hey, Jake, we're getting treated like... Man, we're getting treated like shit, bro. But then every year they want to claim, you know, they get uh, how many, they, they, you know, over 10 million dollars per year is given over there to them, to them so-called Jews. 10 million dollars per day is given and given to them, right? For what they so-called went through, them concentration camps in Germany. But then what about, what, you know, what about the situation where we were, we were made to live in? What about the, you know, the filthy conditions where we were forced to live in? The rigorous you know, uh, uh, conditions of hardcore bondage that we was forced to go through, man. Which that's all the punishment according to the Lord. We know that. But guess what? Esau, you was you was used to forward that affliction. So you're going to have to pay for it, man. This traveled slowly and slave owners tried to hide this information for as long as possible. You see that? They tried to hide it. But guess what? Shameful spewing. You can't hide. And that's why we read that scripture. They tried to hide. Oh, that's the scripture, man. Let's go back in Jeremiah 49 and 10. But I have made Esau bear. I have uncovered his secret places and he shall not be able to hide himself. They tried to hide it, but they can't hide it. Okay. Shameful spewing is upon your glory, man. You're finished. Okay. You're finished, man. Professor Perry believes Juneteenth was often overlooked in the last century and a half because of the ongoing racial division. You got, yeah, you got Jake, simple Jake, Juneteenth, Juneteenth, like it makes a fucking difference. We're still in captivity. Oh, that's the scripture I was going to get before. We're still in captivity, man. Let's go ahead and get that Baruch. All right, Baruch, the third chapter, I believe. All right, I don't want to make this video too long. I just wanted to add my two cents in on this one here. Oh, it's Baruch three and eight. Yep, it says, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse. So we got put under them curses, man, because we transgressed against the, the word of the Heavenly Father. The Lord said the commandments. The Lord said he was putting curses upon us, man. You can read them curses in Deuteronomy 28 and 15 on down. And one of the curses was for a yoke of iron to be put upon our neck. And that's how we know that we're the people, because these curses are upon us for a sign. All right, despite what vocab tries to say, how we're not the Israelites and this and that and whatever. Fuck with these A's. Hey, the scripture says, for what if some did not believe, man? All right, and I hope and I pray vocab is an Edomite, man, because I want to see him go through all kinds of hell in the kingdom. You know, I want to see if we, the scripture says, thy heart shall meditate terrors, man. I want to see his ass get whipped for a thousand years, man. I want to see his ass get bust for a thousand years. It says, and to be subject to payments. So we're subject to payments, man. We're in, we're in slavery, bro. Okay, got to pay fucking car ticket. Hey, these, and these curses are pursuing us, overtaking us. We're the last hired, first fired. You know, we're working these dead end, bum up, bum ass jobs, low minimum, lower than minimum wage jobs. Jake working two, three jobs at a time, 60 hours plus a week, barely able to make ends meet, man. So, hey, we are under them curses. And Esau's created a society to keep us oppressed as a people, man. And the scripture says, surely oppression make of a wise man mad. So all these jakes that are out here trimming their ways to seek love, you're going to be ashamed in the kingdom. It'll be better for you to stand up for righteousness, stand up, you know, and know who you are and connect to your power source and know that you are, you know, the chosen people of the Lord, man. That's why the scripture says the righteous are as bold as a lion, man. We've got to be bold in these last days. And that's through the spirit. And only the elect are going to do that, okay? It says, And subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers which departed from the Lord. Yahweh, our power, man. All right? And let's get another scripture. I want to get Revelation 13. We can't not read this. Which we read this at the camp yesterday. All right? Revelation 13 and 9. If any man have an heir, let him hear. 
He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So we don't want no, you know, your rep your the form of reparations that you're talking about. Oh yeah, Juneteenth, a national holiday. You mean to tell me you waited to 2021, you know, to introduce this as a national holiday to raise awareness on what happened, you know, the uh, uh you know, the um, um you know of what happened during the slave trade. You mean you you waited to 2021? Well, guess what? That's how you know we're at the end because guess what? That's shameful spewing, man. Esau is being revealed. He can't hide himself in these last days, man. He's done. Okay? Circling the drain, like the apostle says, man. This place is circling the drain. It's just a matter of time. Well, the scripture says the vision is for an appointed time. You got bounds that you can't pass, Esau. Despite the fact that your inward thought is that your house shall continue forever, you got bounds that you can't pass. You're done. It says, He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And the saints are the Israelites, man. Psalms 50 and 5, Psalms 148 and 14. All right? And we're going to execute vengeance upon the heathen, like the scripture said. All right? We're about to put you. Into captivity, man. The same way you had us in captivity, you're about to go into captivity. And you other nations. All right? But our main enemy is Esau, Eden. This is Revelation 2, 25. But that which ye have already, hold fast till I come. Which, what do we have? The wisdom and knowledge of this truth, which is keeping us stable in these last days, man. And it will continue to do so. Lord willing, we're of the elect. We're going to be stable in these last days. And the Lord is going to save us at the end, man. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end. So this is about enduring into the end, man. All right. This is to him will I give power over the nations and he shall rule them with a rod of iron as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers even as I received of my father. That's captivity, man. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. All right. So um, anyway, man, I pray you were edified with that video, man. You know, um, where did I get this this video from here? This is from um uh what news channel is this? Salaki, bear with me. Eight news now, Las Vegas. All right, so pretty much that's all I wanted to go in on that. Uh, play a little bit more of this and close it out. In our country, largely because black voices have never been centered in American history. It is until recently. Professor Perry says last summer's events after George Floyd's murder caused an uproar from the black community. See what I'm saying, Jake? You know, Valley of the Dry Bones, man. Jake's got no hope. They got no breath in them. You know, this guy into their oppressors, asking for change, begging for change. No justice, no peace. Which real justice, true justice, is gonna come when the Lord gives it to us, man. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. That's true justice, man. Jake still don't learn, eh? you know, and who don't learn must feel, right? So you're going to keep begging and trimming your ways to seek love. You're going to, you know, you keep, you know, what the scripture says, is Israel a servant? Is he a home-born slave? Why is he spoiled, man? The scripture says the whole head is sick. Our people are through. They don't know what's going on, man. But we know, we're in the know. The Lord has woken us up, man. The scripture says, now it's high time to awake out of sleep. For now is your salvation nearer than when you believe. Fuck all of these protests talking about no justice, no peace, man. True justice is going to come when the Lord, man, pff, he's going to raise us up something terrible, man. All right, and we're going to do according to the Lord's anger. In fact, let's close out on that scripture. One more scripture. All right, it's Ezekiel chapter 25, I believe. Uh Ezekiel chapter 25 and 14, just straight into the point, all right? Which you can read the rest of the chapter for yourself, but I just want to get the point on this. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. Yasha Allah, man, he prints power, all right? So we're going to get him, man. Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, man. And the scripture says, he that stealeth a man, all right? In the Exodus 21 and 16, and if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. You stole men. You stole Israelite men, women, children, man. You're going to have to pay. So the Lord said he's going to lay vengeance upon you by the hand of his people, Israel. And they shall do in Edom according to mine anger and according to my fury. The Lord is going to raise us something terrible. All right? We're going to do according to the Lord's anger and his fury. For all you guys talking about God's all love, the Lord, hey, the Lord hates Esau. Read Malachi 1 and, uh, what, 1 and 4. Or 1 and 3 and 4. Malachi chapter 1 verse 3 and 4, man. Jacob, I loved Esau as I hated, man. Esau is the end of the world. 
Jacob's the beginning of it that followeth. That's the time that we're coming to, man. A transferal of power, rulership over the earth. So we're going to do according to the Lord's anger and his fury. It goes on to say, And they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord Yahweh. True power, man. In due time. Alright, with that, I pray you were edified. Till the next time, Shalom.